What's good everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming at you guys with my favorite fragrance mist for winter. So I have a good amount to show you guys today from Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret. So we're going to hop right into it. Before we do, definitely like, comment, and subscribe as well as go follow me on social media and let's get right into it. This first one is Vanilla Swirl. Now it says on the front, Frosted Vanilla and Sugar Crystals. Now when I mean this is very sugary, very sweet, very vanilla. This is no warm vanilla sugar up in here, like no. This is very like sweet candy like almost vanilla. Okay. Let's get a whiff. Oh you guys, it's so good and when it mixes with your body chemistry i'm telling you it's just so complimentary at least mine it works so well and it doesn't give off a childlike vibe when it's on my body i could see how some people can smell this and be like oh it kind of smells immature totally can see where they're coming from but when you put it on yourself like it doesn't give that vibe at all i love this i would say medium lasting power now one thing about this fragrance mist, I would say it's not your going out fragrance. It could be your nighttime fragrance, but when you're just chilling. So some leggings, a hoodie, that's what I get when wearing this fragrance or some jeans and a simple black shirt. That's what I get, a pair of sneakers, you know. Something very simple, you won't be wearing this really out to dinner or anything like that. Of course, you can wear this during the day. That works super well. But again, in a very simplistic outfit, I would not wear like a nice pea coat with this. So yes, this is amazing. I really hope you guys could get this on Mercari. I don't think that they brought it out this year. Sadly, I have to check the website. I don't know. Nothing has been really catching my attention in their winter collection. I'm not sure why. I definitely just have to go spend a day this weekend and just smell everything because nothing's really been given it to me. And I have to say the Victoria's Secret fall stuff I really wasn't about. So I'm still going to give the winter stuff a chance. Okay, we're moving on. So let's go to another Victoria's Secret one. This is Wonderland Woods. Now this is something I have never smelled before in my life. Like never smelled anything similar. So it says iced leaves and blooms. On the back it says snowy pine winter rose. So let's get a whiff of her. I cannot begin to explain. Like F the rose. I don't smell any rose. Maybe this is the lightest, but it's like pine, but a beautiful, very, very wearable pine fragrance. No one's going to be like, oh my God, you smell like a Christmas tree. Like, trust me, it's not like that. It's something so original, so good. You won't smell like anyone else. And I love this stuff. Again, it's your daily day in the life. That is my favorite saying ever because it's true. You can wear this all times a day. It doesn't matter. So I absolutely love this. It's definitely your hoodie and sweats. You're just going to a football game. You're going to Starbucks to go chill with your friends, do some homework. It's that type of fragrance. You can wear it all the time. And I love this stuff. I don't even want to use it sometimes because I don't want to use it up. But it's the best winter fragrance. It's one of those. So this next one is Vanilla Bean Noel, a classic, literally a classic. I know that they have added um, more musk throughout the years, so I'm not sure if the formula has changed from this year to last year. So this is the last year version with the ugliest packaging on the face of the earth. Thank God they changed it this year. So it says fresh vanilla bean, sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk which you guys it's stunning stunning when i get when i smell this i definitely get like a whipped almost like a marshmallowy but not quite there just a very whipped fragrance a whipped vanilla type vibe but you definitely get the vanilla bean the whipped cream in here a little bit of musk it's not that strong to me of musk to be honest i know some people say that but I don't get that and you get that little hint of caramel so yes this stuff is super good the lasting power is not crazy good i'm not gonna lie i would say for me it's medium it's not that long lasting but 
you can pair this with a bunch of different things. So any different types of vanilla perfumes, vanilla bourbon, you could warm this up from a mix bar. That one's great. Fresh cream and warm cashmere. I feel like the cashmere and the caramel note in here, definitely really good together. So yes, that is amazing. So this one I've actually been mentioning on my channel a lot. Michaela here on YouTube bought it for me. So thank you so much, girl, again. You'll be getting your Christmas gift soon. Anyways, this is from Sol de Janeiro, and it is, um, the fragrance notes are caramel, vanilla, and macadamia, and that is the title as well. Title? What am I saying? The name of it as well. So, that's what's in here. It says on the back, caramelized vanilla, sea salt, toasted macadamia nut, white chocolate, tonka bean, and coconut blossom. So, let's get a whiff of her. This is so good. This is... A more mature confetti cake pop this is a more mature Christmas cookies it's like if you put those both together and just made it like more mature it's so good it's definitely very nutty so if you're not into anything very nutty then you probably won't like this the way it sits on the skin though oh my god those caramel notes in here you guys come through so long lasting so so long lasting and i use the um body cream as well to go with it which is one of the best formula lotions ever literally ever it's so good okay so the next one an oldie but a goodie this is in the stars now this does smell similar to the ariana grande cloud perfume i have a mini little thing that little travel one that i bought which i'm not crazy crazy about cloud to be honest i like this better it's honestly like it gives me abercrombie vibes it's abercrombie 2009 2008 around that time period but a little bit different definitely very strong so you guys this is long lasting this is your night out. This is your daytime scent. When you're in a nice outfit, you could wear this any single occasion. So if you're looking for a fragrance mist that works for a lot of things, you don't want to have a huge collection or you just don't want to spend that coin, I'm telling you, just get this and the body cream or the lotion and you'll be smelling good and you'll be able to wear it all times of day. It smells like an actual perfume. I like it better than the Ariana Grande one. It's so stinking good, you guys. It's so good. Okay, moving along. This next one is Bonfire Bash. This is the winter packaging from last year or the um, fall packaging from last year. Um, the fragrance stones are vanilla bourbon. By the way, this mix is great with vanilla bourbon from Mix Bar. Creamy sandalwood and cashmere musk. You guys know how much I love sandalwood. So good. It's such a light, tasteful vanilla, but long-lasting musk always is very long-lasting. The sandalwood in here is beautiful, just makes the fragrance that much more amazing. And especially when vanilla is mixed with um, other fragrance notes like sandalwood, more mature um, fragrance notes, it really creates such a beautiful fragrance. So I absolutely love that. That is your daily day in the life. That is, you can wear it with a hoodie and sweats, hoodie and leggings, or you can wear it with jeans and a nice top. It's not, though, a fancy dinner. It's not that, but you can wear it to the bar, like different stuff like that. Definitely pick this up because it's amazing. I think they have it in the winter packaging, I think. So definitely get it. Get your hands on it. They bring it back every year. So, yeah. Okay. Now, I know I mention her too much on my channel, so you guys are like, Natalie, we already know. But, for those of you who don't know, Midnight Bloom. Now, In the Stars and Midnight Bloom have a lot of similarities. This, again, smells um, similar to Cloud from Ariana Grande. A billion times better. I like this the most out of the three fragrances. But it says on the back, Moonflower and Creamy Woods. Also, it is a parent dupe for Baccarat Rouge. Um, that's how you say it. Um, I've never smelled that before. Would love to smell it, but I just don't own it. So let's get a whiff. It's so good. It's a less manly, even though this is not manly, but 
you know what I'm saying. This could be unisex. It's a less manly version of um, this. It's definitely more feminine, more sweet. It's a sweet but not fragrance. Like, this is the most long-lasting body mist. I love it for that. I just am obsessed. And, you know, I passed it up for so long, and I'm so mad I did because it's such a beautiful fragrance. Okay, moving along the line. I'm going to talk about You're the One because everyone knows my love for You're the One. But the fragrance notes, white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. That little bit of strawberry nectar really just sweetens it up, makes it so good. This is your going out fragrance, you guys. This is Christmas dinner. You're going out to go see the tree lighting. Like, this is that fragrance. You can wear this during the day, but not with a hoodie and sweats. It's not that at all. Okay, this next one is Warm and Cozy. Oh, you guys, I think I mentioned this in my last video, but... Oh, the top actually fell off. I totally forgot I have to go get a new one. So good. I dropped it the other day. Oh, I totally forgot I did that. Again, most beautiful fragrance. It's so sweet, warm, but not too warm. It actually has a coconut note in here, which you wouldn't know at all, but it totally makes the fragrance so cool. No one, like when I say cool, I mean dope, not like a cool like fragrance. Um, it just makes this fragrance so beautiful and different and I've never smelled anything like this ever except a Victoria's Secret mist that came out last winter. I own it. Oh, what is it you guys? It's gonna kill me. If you were watching my channel last winter then you would know. I'm forgetting the name. But anyways, I'm obsessed. So, alright you guys, that is the end of my video. I love you so, so much. You mean the absolute world to me, and I can't thank you enough for supporting my channel and loving me. God is good. God is always with you.